Happy New Year to all of you. <laughs> Welcome to 2021. And since it is a new year, I have to do another Meet the Artist because that's just the thing that I do now. <laughs> so here's my Meet the Artist drawing for the new year. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. I can't remember when this became a tradition. I know the last two years I've done this, so this is my third year doing this, and I can't remember if I did one before that. Basically the first video of me coming back from holiday break every single new year is me drawing myself and talking about myself, which seems kind of narcissistic, but I do it anyway. <laughs> I always feel a little awkward talking about myself, but I mean, I think this is an important video to make because every single year I get more and more followers and I just think people should know a little bit more about me. <laughs> so if you are recently subscribed or if this is the first video you're seeing of mine, hello. <laughs> I was trying to think of something else to say, but I couldn't. Anyways, let's talk about me and the drawing. So, my name is Bennett Oliver Aviles. That is my full name, but I go by Oliver. I am a guy. I'm a trans guy. People ask about my pronouns. They're he, him. There, there you go. <laughs> I am 20 years old, even though I sound like I'm 12. And my birthday is May 12th. I'm a Taurus for people who are interested in that. And I also have siblings. People ask if I have siblings. If you are a returning subscriber and a longtime subscriber, you know I have a sister that I live with, but then I also have other siblings that don't live with me. I have an older brother. I have another little sister who lives with my dad. And then I have two step siblings who also live with my dad. Those are just some commonly asked things about me. There you go. That's some basic information about yours truly. And of course, as always, I don't know my exact height. <laughs> Anytime I measure myself or get measured, me yes, measured, yes. I don't know why that sounded so weird to me. <laughs> but every time I get my height checked, it's anywhere between 5'3 and 5'5. Five five, so I usually go with 5'4, nice in between. But I actually have no idea. Honestly, at this point, your guess is as good as mine. Isn't there this guy on TikTok who guesses people's heights by like the size of their hand? And he's like pretty much always right. I should, I, I, I should get him to see my height. Anyways, getting off track. <laughs> People ask me how long I've been drawing for, and truth be told, I've been drawing for as long as I can remember. I don't really remember a specific time in my life where I started to take art more seriously. Basically, I've just always been drawing, and that's always how I spent a lot of my free time. But I have been posting to YouTube since 2017, and I've been posting my art to Instagram since 2016. So I guess professionally, I've been an artist for like three years. But in terms of actually drawing and creating art I've been doing that for as long as I can remember. Also for as long as I can remember I've just always loved creating characters and creating stories. If there's anything you need to know about me on my channel is that I create a lot of characters. If you are a more recent subscriber I used to have a series on this channel where I talk about a different OC at the end of every single month. That series ended a while ago because I didn't have any more stories ready to be told, but starting this month, I am going to start that series back up again, starting with characters that were not in that original series. But if you are interested in that, I will leave that in the iCard for you if you want to learn a little bit more about my characters and the types of stories I've created. And also, returning subscribers will know that I'm currently working on a webcomic. It was supposed to be out last year, but that didn't happen. <laughs> but I promise you, with every fiber of my being, it will be out this year. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like every single time I talk about my webcomic, people are like, where is it? Where's the comic? It's coming out. Maybe I, maybe those are just the comments that stick out to me and they're not as often as I think, and maybe I'm just making it into a bigger deal than it actually is. But it'll come out, I promise. <laughs> For those of you out of the loop, my characters Delaney, Lo, Noe, Alice, and Lux are the protagonists, or like the main characters, Delaney's the protagonist. Those five are the main characters of that story, so if you are going to check out any OC videos, I would recommend those ones. My favorite art medium is probably Copic markers, or just alcohol-based markers in general, but of course I gravitate towards Copics. Those are my babies. <laughs> but I also really like watercolors, gouache, and then I also draw a lot of digital work, clearly, because that's what I'm doing in this video. <laughs> to be honest, I don't make as much digital work as I would like. I feel like most of the time when I do make digital work, it's just for videos, whereas a lot of my more leisurely, less serious art, I guess, I just make traditionally either in my sketchbook or on a loose sheet of paper. But I would really like to start sketching digitally and like having digital sketches. I feel like every single time I share digital art, most of the time it's like a finished refined illustration. So hopefully I'll be able to do that in the new year. And of course, since I am going 
going to be making my comic that's going to be digitally so I'm going to be doing a lot of digital work for that. I also have four pets. I made videos painting them if you're interested in that but I have three cats Leo, Lily, and Abby and then I have a dog Zola who you might hear her scratching herself in the background. <laughs> People ask me if I went to college or if I am in college. The answer is no. My highest degree of education is high school. I have graduated that, but I haven't. I've heard very mixed reviews about art college, so I just don't really want to go. And honestly, for the moment, I'm content with that. I don't know if I will go in the future, but as of right now, I don't have any plans to go to art school. I also listen to a lot of music. I listen to music anytime I go out, which can't really do that much anymore but if I have to like walk to a store or something I always bring my headphones with me I listen to music a lot when I'm filming mostly like if it's a speed paint or something or if I'm doing comic work I'll listen to a lot of music if you're, if you're wondering who my favorite band is it's Paramore I know I'm going to get questions about that <laughs> I, I also really like Neon Trees they're a close second and then I also listen to solo artists like Billie Eilish like Halsey, Phineas, bunch of stuff. <laughs> Those are like the main ones that are sticking out to me right now, but there's a lot. I actually have some playlists for my main webcomic characters, which you can find in the links of their videos. So if you're curious, if you, if you want a little taste of my music taste, go over there. <laughs> I also like anime <laughs> and I like cartoons. Those are things that I've been interested in ever since I was a kid and I don't think that's ever gonna change, honestly. I grew up with shows like Avatar, The Last Airbender, Pokemon, both the anime. Bless you, Zola Bear. I grew up with Pokemon, both the anime and the games. I don't keep up with the anime. I stopped forever ago, but I keep up with the games. I play every game that comes out. I also grew up with anime like Fruits Basket. Fairy Tale's my favorite anime. Many of you are probably aware. I really like Carol and Tuesday. Those are probably my three, but there's more. And speaking of video games I mentioned earlier, I don't play a whole lot of video games, mostly just because I don't have the time, <laughs> but the video games that I do play, I love. So I mentioned Pokemon. I recently started playing the Ace Attorney games, so <laughs> I'm a little obsessed with those at the moment. I also like Doki Doki Literature Club. That's a favorite. But most of the games that I enjoy, I mostly watch through Let's Plays online just because I don't I don't, I don't- I don't have a lot of free time. Something I probably should have mentioned earlier, but I did not, is that I live in America. <laughs> and I'm originally from the state of New York, but I currently live in Florida, unfortunately. It's in the meme state. <laughs> Honestly, I think that's about all I have to say about me, so I guess I'll talk about the drawing a little bit. So why do you always eat your food when I'm filming? Your food is there all day. Why do you only eat when I hit record? Really, there were two goals I wanted and the- <laughs> New Year, still bad at words. There are two goals that I had in mind when I was making this drawing. One, I wanted to draw myself actually wearing the outfit that my avatar wears. If you look at my channel art and my profile picture and all of the stills that were in past videos, they're all wearing this outfit. But I have yet to make a Meet the Artist where I'm wearing it, <laughs> which they've existed for a while. So at the very least, they should have been in last year's, but they just simply were not. So I wanted to actually draw myself in that this year. It's not actually an outfit I wear super often anymore because now it kind of feels like I'm cosplaying as myself whenever I wear it. <laughs> which is fine, but I don't wear it super often. <laughs> and then another goal of mine is that I wanted to capture the truly awkward essence I carry with me wherever I go, which I think I accomplished. I also wanted to try and capture my likeness. I feel like before I would just very loosely capture my likeness. <laughs> and honestly, this one doesn't look a whole lot like me in terms of facial structure and everything, but I think it looks a little bit more like me than other attempts have looked. <laughs> I do have mirrors like right next to my drawing tablet. So I was able to just like take a couple of quick peeks at myself while I was drawing, which was definitely helpful. But honestly, other than that, there's not anything super spectacular to say about this drawing. The drawing itself, I didn't really struggle with at all. I think the main issue I had was thumbnailing and coming up with a pose, but in the end, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think my least favorite part is the arm that's sticking up like the finger gun because I feel like the way it goes into the sleeve is a little bit awkward. <laughs> it, it doesn't look like it's a straight arm. It looks like it's curving, which is really, really weird. My arm doesn't do that in real life. But also I liked how both the like the hand and the arm looked, so I didn't want to change either of them, <laughs> which is bad. Don't do that. <laughs> if there's a problem in your art, fix it. But I just was feeling lazy, so I didn't. <laughs> but I think my favorite part is the shoes. I really like the way that they turned out. I did actually grab these shoes and put them on my desk while I was drawing so I had them directly there for me to reference and yeah there's like I said there's nothing spectacular for me to say about this drawing 
I saved a bunch of color swatches in my program. If you're wondering what program I'm using, I use Paint Tool Psy 2. Can always recommend, I love this program. But I have a bunch of swatches saved and I have the swatch saved for my avatar. So I just was able to grab those really quick and splash them on there. And then boom. <laughs> I think the most difficult part about this drawing was figuring out the layout of the boxes and figuring out what to write in them. <laughs> like I said, I don't really, I don't, it feels weird talking about myself and it feels weird drawing myself. It's why I don't do that very often. I wanted it to be kind of reminiscent of last year's because even though I could do better now and hopefully I did do better, <laughs> I do really like the way that last year's came out and I remember really loving it when I first made it. So I wanted it to be a little bit reminiscent of that. I know for a fact like a lot of the likes and dislikes transferred over into this year because I don't think I've changed a whole lot since last year. <laughs> I feel like each year I look back at who I was before and I changed changed pretty, not like super drastically, but just, let's call it character development. <laughs> but I feel like this past year, like not much has changed, which I think is a very relatable thing because 2020 was a train wreck, let's be honest. But I know a lot of those have just transferred over into this year's, which is fine. I just have a lot of the same interests and non-interests, I guess. <laughs> What's the opposite of interests? Like you say, I, these are my interests, but then like the things that you dislike, is there a word for that that's similar to- I'm thinking too much about it. <laughs> and then the biggest difference between this year's Meet the Artist and last year's and every other year, to be honest, is that I didn't draw any items. <laughs> I feel like I would just be drawing the same stuff as last year, honestly, because it's just the same stuff. It's a sketchbook, my drawing tablet, my headphones, my Switch. And yeah, but that, that's it. <laughs> and I just feel like compositionally, I couldn't really find a way to make it look right. So I just decided to leave them out this year. I figure a lot of you guys probably won't miss it. <laughs> I mean, really, I kind of forgot about it in the thumbnailing stage. And then by the time I went to sketch it, I realized they weren't there and I did not care enough about it to <laughs> figure out a way to make it fit because I don't think they're that relevant, really. <laughs> So yeah, there, there, there's that drawing. So for all of the new people here, because I know there's quite a few of you, I guess I'll talk a little bit about my channel and the types of videos I post. Mostly art stuff, as you can probably guess and see from my videos. <laughs> well, I guess that I have been posting since 2017 on this channel. It started off with just speed paints with music and then it changed to like, speed paints and voiceovers. I also do sketch vlogs now. That's something that I do fairly often. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, I have a lot of characters and I'll make those videos talking about each character, which I'm really excited to do again. <laughs> I think my most popular content is probably my sketchbook tours, but let's be honest, I feel like they're every artist's most popular content on YouTube. But I mostly draw my original characters, so if that's something that you're interested in, I hope you're looking forward to that. But I do also draw fan art quite regularly. Not like, it's mostly in my sketchbook, so I feel like most of the time when you see fan art, it's through my sketchbook tours, but I'll make speed paints of them every now and again. Bella, you are really doing a mod right now, huh? And honestly, I think the last thing I have to say is I hope you're looking forward to spending this year with me. I don't know why I said it so awkwardly, but I have a lot of fun videos planned for this year, a lot of exciting stuff in general planned for this year, so I hope that you will stick around. If you're new here, if you're old here, thank you. If you're old here. <laughs> if you're new here if you're, or if you've been here for a while, I hope that you'll make it through this year with me. I am very much looking forward to it. And this year I'm hoping to do, I guess, a lot of the same stuff, but also more. I want to do like more product reviews. I also want to sell more stuff like prints. So I want to make a lot more art that can be sold as prints and stickers and all that stuff. I want to interact with you guys a lot more. And also I want to hit 100,000 subscribers. Let's see if we could do that, but that's really up to you guys. So if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. <laughs> We're getting very close and it's exciting. But that's about all I have for you guys in this video. I hope you liked it. I don't really like talking about myself. It feels weird, but if you're new here, I hope that you learned a little bit about me. And if you've been here a while, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Maybe you've noticed changes in me more than I have, but give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, if you liked hearing about me, if you liked the drawing, and if you're excited to see more from me this year. I am very, very excited to be posting again. I took a two-week break, as I often do at the end of the year, but it feels very much needed, and I am back and ready to rumble.
on YouTube. I don't know what I'm saying. So let's end this video. <laughs> if you want to see more from me, you can follow me on social media. That will be linked in the description box below. I'd recommend following me on Instagram. That is where I am most active, where I post my art. And you can also find other things down there, like my Redbubble shop, my website, etc., etc. And leave a comment. Let me know what if you have any big plans for 2021. I was about to say what your plans are, but honestly, after 2020, we might not have big- we might- our plan is to survive <laughs> as a human race. That is our collective goal for this year. Survive. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope to see you next week, and yeah, I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.